Hello friend, welcome to Mechanical DDMC. In this video, I am going to present about the bearing. The this full description of the bearing. At the last of this video, you will learn everything you should know about the bearing. The types of bearing, the applications of bearing, different functions of bearing, uh, the mounting of bearing, and design of bearing, part of bearing, and use of bearing in different applications also. And at the last of the video, you will understand the advantage and disadvantage of the bearing also. Let's start. The main function of the rotating shaft is to transmit the power from one end of the line to other. It means it will transmit the power from one end to another. And to during the transmitting process, it should need some support, which will keep by using the bearing. The support for the shaft is known as the bearing. The shaft has a running pit in a bearing. All the bearing are provided some lubrication arrangement to reduce friction between shaft and bearing. Bearing classification of bearing. Bearings are classified under two main categories. They are plain or slider bearing and second one is rolling or anti-friction bearing. As you know the plain or slider bearing means the contact between bearing and shaft is the contact between bearing and shaft is sliding contact it means all the shaft area will be in contact with the bearing and here the bearing will be stationary where the shaft will be rotatory on inside the bearing area and second one is the rolling or anti-friction bearing it is also known as the anti-friction bearing because there is less contact between the rolling shaft and shaft and bearing so that friction policy is so high so low so that it can be neglected hence known as the anti-friction bearing due to less contact area rolling friction is much lesser than the sliding friction hence these bearings are also known as the anti-friction bearing now you can see rolling or anti-friction bearing figures pictures are shown in monitor and in the bearing topics the load direction and name is most important in the bearing the load can be lies axial direction or in the radial direction also in some, some cases axial load is applied whereas in some cases radial load is applied in the axial load means which is parallel to the shaft whereas the radial load means which is perpendicular to the shaft area okay types of rolling contact bearing rolling contact bearing are mainly classified into ball and roller bearing friction resistance considerably less than in plane bearing is properties are friction resistance considerably less than in plane bearing rotating non rotating pairs pairs separated by balls or rollers it means the balls or rollers are present in between shaft which is rotatory and bearing which is stationary part ball or rollers has rolling contact and sliding friction is limited and replaced by the most lower rolling friction it means the it means sliding contact will reduce by replaced by the ball or rolling contact and hence the friction policy is less in plane bearing the starting resistance is much larger than the running resistance due to the absence of oil film here we can neglect the presence of oil hence the resistance the starting resistance is much large single row deep group ball bearing and single row roller bearing this is the type of the ball and roller bearing single row deep group ball bearing means where the it is incorporating with the deep hardened raceway which makes them suitable for radial and axial loads in either direction provided the radial loads are higher than the axial loads single row rolling bear is used where the roller bearing have the greater load carrying capacity than the ball bearing of the equivalent size is they make line contact rather than the point contact with their line rings not suitable for axial loading cheaper to manufacture and use for the heavy and solid loading high speed and continuous services ball and rolling bearing roller bearing 
so you can see first one is ball bearing and ball bearing second one is roller bearing and third one thrust ball bearing thrust ball bearing is presented in third figure the races and balls are high carbon chrome steel to provide resistance to wear machine and ground to fine limits of 0 0.0025 mm highly polished and hardened are presented this is the figure this picture shows the ball bearing the ball and rolling bearing consists of the following parts inner rings are races inner ring are recesses which fits in shaft outer ring are recesses which fits inside the housing ball and roller arrange between the surface of two races this provides the rolling action between the recesses the radius of track a ball is slightly greater than 5 to 10 percent than that of the ball themselves and one thing you should know is the disadvantage of the ball and roller bearings are high cost they cannot be used in half and and greater noise this figure shows the ball and roller bearings these are the roller bearings actually these are the types of the ball bearing ball and roller bearing double row self lining ball bearing is first one the second one are single and double row roller bearing single and double row roller bearing deep group ball bearing is shown in monitor screen this is bearing diameter this is bearing single outer diameter outer ring is this one bearing chamfer is this one and you can see all this second one is angular contact ball bearing this is also a type of ball bearing this is cylindrical roller ball bearing a roller bearing tapered roller bearing you can see it is made with tapered and roller are presented self lying roll, roller bearing this one actually self lying means which can make itself suitable for different types of loading and angular loading also can sustain by this type of roller bearing this is oiling type of or bearing unit thrust ball bearing this figure shows the thrust type of thrust, thrust ball bearing which is actually used for thrust load you can see thrust ball bearing is presented here one these are balls load will actually apply in this direction applications of the roller bearings is a already told that ball bearings are mainly used where the friction should be less and applications are tapered roller bearing tapered roller bearing can take both rail and axial loads and use for great gear boxes for heavy trucks bevel gear transmission lathe spindles and etc thrust ball bearings are um, in thrust ball bearings it can take only thrust load only thrust ball bearings are used for heavy axial loads and low speeds needle ball bearing is used in small diameter rollers they are used for radial load and slow speed and oscillating motion they have the advantage of the high light weight and occupy small space they are used in aircraft industry live tail stock centers bench drill drill spindles etc needle ball bearing this figure shows the needle ball bearing bearing arrangement now let, let's discuss about the bearing arrangement shaft are generally supported by the two bearings in the radial and axial directions the side that fixes relative moment of the shaft and housing in the axial direction is called the fixed side bearing and the side that allows the moment is called the floating side bearing the floating side bearing is needed to absorb the mounting error and avoid the stress caused by the expansion and contraction of the shaft due to temperature changes bearing mounting for instrument bearings certain special considerations should be emphasized heavy press speed should be avoided accuracy of the mounting surface should be equal to accuracy of mating bearing surfaces it should be it means they should be mated with each other 
misalignment of the low torque and running accuracy should be exceed 1 by 4 degree. Loading across the bearing during assembly should be avoided. Now let's discuss about the sliding contact bearing. Is I already told that sliding in sliding contact bearing the bearing and the shaft are the shaft are acted in sliding contact so that more friction is appeared there. Classification of the sliding contact bearing. Generally sliding contact bearing can be classified as journal bearing, foot step bearing and collar thrust bearing. Journal bearing. In this the bearing, the pressure is extended at the right angle to the axis of the shaft. Axis of the shaft. The portion of the shaft lying within the bearing is known as the journal. Shaft is generally made of the mild steel. It means in journal bearing, the pressure is exerted at the right angle to the axis of the shaft. And second one is the foot step or fibered bearing. In this bearing, the bearing pressure is exerted parallel to the shaft which axis is vertical. Note that in this case, the end of the shaft rests within the bearing. And third one is thrust bearing. In this bearing, supporting pressure is parallel to the axis of the shaft. Bearing, shaft having in thrust. Thrust bearing are used in bevel mounting, propeller, drivers, turbine, CTC. Note here the shaft unlike foot step bearing passes through, passes through and beyond the bearing. Thrust bearing are also known as the collar bearing. Now you can see the figure of the journal bearing. Simple journal solid bearing. It is simply a block of cast iron with a hole of. You can see this is the solid bearing. Here you can see this is the hole. Hole is present there and the shaft will mounted inserted here and it will provide support to the shaft while rotating. It is simply a block of cast iron with a hole for the shaft providing running pit and oil hole, oil hole, hole is drilled at the top for lubrication. The main disadvantage of this type of bearing are there is no provision for the wear and adjustment of the accountment of the wear. Accountment of the wear. The shaft must be passed into the bearing. Uh, actually that is in wise. Limited load and shaft and speed of the shaft is low. This figure shows the solid bearing or journal bearing. And boost bearing. In this boost in the boost of soft material metal like brass or gum, metal is provided and the body of the main block is made of the cast iron. Boost is hollow cylindrical piece which is fitted on the housing to accommodate the matting part. When the boost gets worn out, it can be easily replaced. This, you can see this is the boost. This is present here. It is the end of metal and it will reduce the friction between shaft and bearing during the rotation of the shaft. The outside of the boost is drilling fit. In the hole of the casing where is the inside of the running inside is the running fit for the shaft. The applications are turbine large diesel engine CTC. Plumber block or pedestal bearing. This is also an another type of plane, plane or sliding contact bearing. It is a split type of bearing. This type of bearing used for higher speeds, heavier loads, and large sizes. The components of the bearing are cast iron pedestal or block with a hole, brass or gun metal, cast iron cap, two mild steel bolts or not. You can, you can see plumber block. Knots are present there. Cast iron cap, you can see this one, and body is present here. You can see the type of journal bearing is there. Put it up a pivot bearing. Suit is it suitable for supporting a vertical shaft with exile loads? In a footist of bearing, it means exile loads is it will work with exile loads. In a footist bearing, a gun metal bus having a collar on top is placed inside the CA cast iron sole. The end of the shaft rests on the gun metal disc 
placed at the bottom of the box. The disc is prevented from the rotation with the help of the pinners song pitted on the stone. The disc acts as a thrust bearing wherein the push pitted in the casting supports the shaft in position. The boost can take radial loads, if any, on the shaft. The disadvantage of the full step bearing is that it cannot be effectively lubricated and where there is the unequal wear on the bottom sticks. You can see this is the full step or pivot bearing. Advantage and disadvantage of the plane bearing. Plane bearing are cheap to produce and have noiseless operation. They can be easily machined, occupy small radial space, and they have vibration damping properties. Also, they can cope with tapered version pattern. And this in disadvantage, they are require large supply of the lubricating oil. They are suitable only for relative low temperature and speed. And starting resistance is most greater than running resistance due to slow build of, of lubricating film around the bearing surface. Thank you friend. For more videos like this and more new techniques and about the designing, molding and care packages, please subscribe my channel because I am going to post lots of video about these topics and about the mechanical engineering core subjects. So that please subscribe my channel and like this video and if you have any doubt or queries please mention in the comment box i will try to respond as i as fast as i can thank you see you on next video